We're Chuck and Lori, and we're taking you to England. Today, we're taking you along on a self-guided tour of High Cliff Castle. Do you see what that is? Is that a treasure chest? It's a really big chest. I'd like to lift it, but I don't think I can. <laughs> it's a massively high entrance. Lori's going in. Happy birthday! Yay! Made another lap around the sun. It's jammed up here. Yeah, it's a little bit busy. And the weather's actually been fairly kind to us. This is High Cliff Castle that we're heading to right now. Apparently, this is only 30 minutes away from our hotel in Burma. Yeah, it's cool looking. <laughs> it's pretty cool looking. I'm gonna check this thing out. Let's check out the map. All right, let's look at the map. This is the way. <laughs> this is the way. This is pretty cool. High Cliff Castle is a time machine that takes you back to the late 18th and early 19th centuries. It's a massively high entrance. Lori's going in. We are entering the castle, and yes, this is the visitor's area. And what? And it looks like it's self-guided. It does look self-guided. So they were just telling us that there were two fires, one in 1967 and one in 1968. The 67 fire burned the Great Hall and then 68 took the castle, right? So there's, it was 40 years of vandalism and destruction before they actually restored it. So there's a lot of cool stuff to see in here. So these pieces are actually fell off from different sections of the castle. So the morning room and small dining room, that's now the gift shop. Oh, so that's the gift shop, okay. And we're in the sitting room. Here's the fireplace. The fireplace took the fire pretty well, of course. The castle serves as an incredible museum of history with so much to check out. This extremely well-lit space is the study, and um, wow, it's pretty cool. This is the personal space used when the family wasn't entertaining. And we can see who owned the place. 1775, John Stewart, on and on and on and on. Man, 1775, that's crazy. This place has had a few hands owning it. You think it was a money thing? Possibly. Yeah, I e think. Even back then. It seems pretty suspect that the place caught fire when everybody was struggling financially. So you find the kitchen interesting, of course. I find it interesting. Yeah. Is it saying it's know, just a it's, door? It's, There's um, no stair. So you can see like you the just, whole. Maybe you just jump out. <laughs> that's a working kitchen. We're on our way to the stained glass studio, which is up these stairs. Apparently Lord Stewart was the dude who did all this stuff. Yeah, that would be interesting. It smells stinky. Okay, let's go. So this is some of the stained glass that was once in the windows. Somehow they saved it. Oh, it's really cool. It's pretty. I like the stained glass. This was rescued after the fires in the 60s. Darn vandals. This is some of the stuff that was done when kids used to party in here after it burned. Let's see some of the vandalism. This was in the kitchen? They said they're not sure, but because of the offering of food. It might have been in the, the kitchen. The <laughs> yeah. I believe this was in the kitchen. They think maybe. 
Now we're in one of the bedrooms, which is not too bad sized, but lots of damage and vandalism in here too. When the castle was ravaged by fire, the statue collapsed. It's interesting, so 30 years later, somebody called and said they found the head. Wild. <laughs> Hey, it wasn't even re it wasn't returned until December 2000. I think that the eyes are creepy. <laughs> it is pretty creepy. I think it's gonna blink. There's a cool little display on how to make stained glass. This is the technique right here. The three steps. The three steps. So first they draw the template, and then they start pinning in. I think that's lead. It's the lead framing, and they cut the glass and. Voila! Stained glass. <laughs> this absolutely is not <laughs> IKEA. That is beautiful. What did you find? This picture this looks bizarre. A fountain featuring a boy and a dolphin? was sold off to an American and now stands on the grounds of a Bel Air mansion in Los Angeles. Whoa. <laughs> this was bizarre. Wow. And this was the dining room. So Chuck, we gotta come over here for a second. Those are the safes? They used to hold the silverware. Ooh, they locked the silverware in there. Dishes, platters, plates. We're gonna peek in the silver safe. There it is. This is the silver safe. It's very hard to film because it's barely cracked open as you'll see in a second when I pull this camera out. So it says dinner parties were formal occasions that might last for hours and include up to 20 courses. 20 courses. I think you and I would pass out. It's a lot of food. And this amazing brick room is the drawing room. The drawing room was the most elaborate and luxurious room in the castle. Lori's playing with a, a touch screen. That's cool. So see, you were standing is it there though? Right over there. Yep, I think so. Maybe that's a fireplace. So this is the winter garden. This is where they have the weddings. I could see that. That's pretty cool. The winter garden is one of four rooms in the castle that's licensed for weddings. Now let's go check out the library. Lori found the drawing plans, which is really cool. If we pull out the drawers, there's a chamber plan. They're all here. That's just super cool. You see what that is? Is that a treasure chest? <laughs> it's a really big chest. I'd like to lift it, but I don't think I can. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Great Hall, and this is the room that burnt first, if I recall, right? In 1967. And the stained glass in here is extraordinary. I love the stained glass. Yeah, it is incredible.
So this step over here yeah. is a step from the Great Hall Staircase. Cool. And they took out the staircase and used it to build steps down to the beach. And wow. this, this one's the only one left. It's the only last remaining step. Let's just put it on the plane as carry-on. They won't get mad, will they? <laughs> you know, I think it's really cool, though. Maybe they'll get mad. Okay, I'm going to step on the step. Okay, st I'm standing on the step. Lori's standing <laughs> on the step from the Grand Hall. Yeah, we're going to try to go to another castle. Let's see if this works. Pack your bag and join us as we explore Corf Castle. This is cool. <laughs> we can't get out. We're trapped. Trapped with the sheep. <laughs> Possibly. <laughs>